Furry Con 2024! What's a furry? What is a furry? Well, furries are fans of anthropomorphic characters. Those are animals with human characteristics. And like any fan group, they have conventions. They're called Anthrocon. There are 6,000 furries inside. We are at Anthro Northwest, which is a furry con in Seattle, Washington. We support all sorts of inclusivity. We just trying to get an idea, you know, what inspires the outfits? What inspired wanting to be a furry? What you got to say, Juice? How long have you been a furry? How much did that furry suit cost? Who is the best furry in this furry town. Furry town, baby, Seattle, Washington. Yeah, Lindsay sent us, uh, she said our press credentials would be ready immediately. What is your name or what do you go by? I go by Alex. Uh, I go by Zeno, my character's name is Mochi. Just call me Nerf. Bartholomew? It is Bartholomew. Bartholomew. In the fandom, I go by uh, Hoshna or just Hosh for short. My name is Shinaki. There you go. <laughs> so what would your name be? Munchkin. I got a couple questions about your outfit here. It looks really Expensive, to be honest. Do you know how much it cost? Well, I got this a long time ago. Back then, it would have been like three grand. Twenty-eight hundred dollars. So let's say fifty k on our first support. Yeah, fifty thousand dollars. The thousands. Probably five to seven thousand. I paid about $2,200, somewhere around there. Yeah. Do you uh, refer to yourself as a furry or what would the term be for somebody that enjoys, you know, events yeah, like I, this I and guess, stuff? Yeah, probably furry is the right term for it. What do you call falling in love at a furry con event? Is this your first furry con or? It is. Uh, this is, but it's my second time here. It actually is. Oh uh, no, I've been doing this for almost a decade. About eight years now. Since 2010. I started in 2022. Uh, it'll be over a decade now. Oh, shit. Probably like my fifth event. A lot, man. Definitely okay. over 10. At least 30. 60, 70. And how did you get into being a furry? So, okay, I dated this chick in high school. Just saw a couple friends that were doing it, and they got me into it. She was always drawing these animals. They were talking back like 2007, man. Like, mm -hmm. I just uh, try to make people smile, and yeah. uh, at the end of every day, if I know I've made someone smile and have a good day, that's yeah. enough for me. If you go on Google and you Google furry like 10 years ago, you wouldn't get interesting, like appropriate stuff. I wouldn't say ashamed of it, but she did hide it from me for a while. I was kind of a dick to her. I'm like, what the fuck is this? weird animal shit. Yeah. And what does your character represent to you? Just a good way of expressing myself in ways that I wouldn't normally be comfortable, I guess. Well, she's a fennec fox. She's kind of fast on her feet. She's loud. I've always liked it. And also it looks fun. It looks cute. I mean, it looks expressive and stuff. It's just a purple dragon cat and it's just an OC of mine, original okay. character. Oh, uh, so she's like a Chinese dragon. I bought her um, secondhand off somebody. Okay. And so I kind of like finished the suit myself after I bought it and just like wore it here. Yep. I've had a love for rhinos my whole life. They're my absolute favorite animal. And the name came from a childhood toy that I had. My character here keeps evolving. He started off as one color, then kind of changed more and more, and this added more things to him. And I've only made a few children cry. Only a few children. Yeah. Do you believe in love at first furry, as Juice said? I mean, sometimes you just see a fursuiter. That fursuiter is a vibe. I love okay. that suit. So yeah, there's some yeah. fursuit crushes going on. I'm not going to lie. Is this your profile picture online? No, I really just just kind of do it like as like a here for the moment kind of thing. I don't really have much of a presence on like Twitter, Instagram, or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just here to have fun. I just noticed, is your tail just naturally moving or does it have a motor with it or oh, something? It's just naturally moving. It's my hips. You gotta show the people the tail. Oh, he's wagging it around. So do you wear this to every furry con or? Generally, yeah. I made these suits, the paws. You did this in a couple weeks? Yeah. I built it. I, I probably got about 500 bucks of materials in it. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not that bad. It's cheap. Do you guys have like a group or like where you guys communicate like some people use facebook groups some people use yeah. discord servers like it's just kind of whatever telegram discord uh instagram uh twitter um mostly discord like i said it's like, it's like some of the same shit that everyone else does just we have a really specific hobby and when you spent the six thousand were you like yes at first i was like fuck yeah. i just fucked up yeah. but now now that i'm here i am very happy with my okay face. is this heavy or is it, is it easy to wear uh, so my legs weigh about five pounds um, the rest of the body is about two to three. So I'm lugging around eight to nine pounds plus a little bit more. Are you hot in that? Are you sweating? I am drenched right now. We all know thick thighs save lives. Did you intentionally make sure these thighs were all juicy and meaty or did it just happen to be that way? It happened to be that way. Um, I didn't design this character. It was body, It was like something that someone had as like a pre-made kind of thing. And I was like, okay. yeah, this is kind of cool. I like it. Okay. It was unintentional, but I grew to love it. Why didn't you do a full outfit? Just the mask and the, the hands. I feel like being able to dress in different clothes is a bit more expressive, you know, I can show a bit more of myself. The, the full body is cool, but then you're kind of stuck in that, you know, and it's really hot. 
Sure. Like really hot. If you were to have a partner, would they have to be into the furry world too? It would help, but no, not really. It's a my partner's decision to like decide if they want to be with me for being a furry or not. No, it's I think it's actually healthy for uh, couples to have differences and be able to still love each other for it. So a lot of my socializing happens through the fandom. It's not that I'm looking for a furry to be my partner. It's that the people I found to be my partner are already furries. To have a certain checklist for someone them to have your love, that's not really love in my opinion. Uh, that's a Awesome answer. What if they said they didn't want you being part of the furry world no more? How would that make you feel? Is that a deal breaker? Not necessarily a deal breaker, but we definitely have to talk about it. They do have to understand like this is part of my lifestyle. Yeah. And if they're just gonna like hate me just for being this way, then it's just they're lost, I guess. Yep. Do you guys think Mochi has the best outfit we've seen this far? What do you think, Mochi? I hope so. <laughs> do you guys feel like you guys are the best dressed here at this con? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I get inspired. You get by, inspired by the creativity of everybody. I'm actually all the way from Sacramento, California. Oh wow! So I drove like nine hours here. So it's about coming together with the family. That's a long drive. It is a long drive. There's okay. storm too. Do you think that we would scare them off with the camera? Yeah, they're not going to let cameras in the hotel. Everyone's hecka chill and laid back. Like, as long as you're not bringing drama in there or being rude. Like, because mm -hmm. you guys have been chill interviews, I've saw. Like, just let people be who, what they want to be, you know? There's been other events where there's been, like, people doing weird shit. Actually getting a new one, and the new one's going to cost 14 k Is it? $14,000. $14,000, yeah. What do you do for a living to be able to afford that? Um, so I have like this one thing that I'm not allowed to share. What's the max? Or is there no price when like you're in the furry world? Well, if it's a good suit and you got the savings and you can spend it without putting yourself homeless or unhealthily, there isn't really a price on it. When did you start? As soon as I turned 18. I've been a furry since I was like 12. Find your local furry community. They will take you in with freaking open arms. I cannot say this is not weird in some way, but. What's one message you would want to tell the people about the furry world? We're just trying to have some fun. We're just trying to be chill. We don't mean anyone harm. Just come, check it out. Sometimes it's just regular ass people with a weird hobby. So what is so tough about leaving the furry world? I don't know, I've just been with it for so long and like be kind of weird to leave behind, you know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like building a career on like base or basketball or something just choosing one day like oh man you know i don't want to do this anymore. anymore yeah it's yeah. like you, you invest so much time into it we're cool people i'm not gonna lie these are the friendliest nicest coolest people i've met one of my goals for tonight is to get somebody to allow me to try on their their mask because tonight this moment right here this bond be that moment is hella sweaty i'll take it i'll do it all right tonight's the night ladies and gentlemen my girl back then didn't know that i was that's, that's how it begins how i'm looking what y'all think? I need yeah? to be my own outfit, yeah. Janitor Jesh. I'm telling you. The newest furry in Seattle, Washington. Furry con in Seattle. We're here, live and direct. Paul, give me Paul. Pa. All right, take it easy.